Hi, hi. Welcome back to Fine Fit. Five interval nitro exercises by Pole Divine. This is a stopwatch program, so that means the first exercise is going to be 30 seconds long, the next a minute, then 30, then minute, then 30, with equal rest periods in between. Down below in the description, I give a little better description of what this all entails. Now, before I show you this week's five, um, remember to warm up before you begin. So we want the hips warmed up, we want the legs warmed up, especially our shoulders and our wrists. Because remember, this is a strength training, core building program to better help you master and kick ass with your tricks. So with all that said, let's show you what this week's five interval nitro exercises are. All right, we are going to begin with chopper crunches, and this week is going to be the single leg lifting up. So that is going to look like if you get into your chopper pose, this leg is going to come up, rest against the pole, and it is going to stay there while the outside leg comes up into a chopper crunch. So from the side, it's going to look like this. If this is too difficult, of course, go for the classic crunch like that, and it's 15 seconds on one side, 15 on the other side. Our next thing is going to be pretty pistols with a straight leg. That is going to look like this. So you're going to stand in front of the pole. You're going to take one leg. You're going to extend it. I want it to stay straight and pretty while you do these. So you're going to come down and come back up. So just keep this leg straight while you do your pretty pistols. If this is too easy, lift the leg and do them. After 30 seconds, switch to the other side. Remember keeping this leg straight. Why? Because it just helps train our brains to keep the legs straight for when we go up and do other tricks on the pole and we need that clean, long, elegant look. Exercise number three is going to be a jump, climb, and then a pull up. If you are not used to these, no worries. You can start by getting the bottom hand on the pole like this. Notice how there's a slight angle and it's resting against the pole. This keeps my body away. I can push away from the pole. So we go here, here, up, pull up. Now, if you've got that masters, mastered, then what I want you to do is jump and pull up. All right, so I just, boom, when I jump. So you're going to do 15 seconds on one side, 15 on the other side, or rotate between the two for the whole 30 seconds. The next exercise, we're gonna be on the floor, of course, and this is what it's gonna look like. So on the floor, we're gonna pike up with the legs, we're gonna lift with the hips, and then we're going to chop or crunch it. Come back, hips down, legs down. So here, up, down, Keep it up, bring it down, and down. I want these pieces all, all um, strategically done. No skipping and going ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. That will take away the effect of really working <laughs> your abs. So up, then lift, then down. Stay up, come down, then down. We really want to go slow and controlled to really target <laughs> these babies. Okay, exercise number five is going to be the side crunches. So you're gonna stand beside the pole. Outside leg comes right up tight against the pole. Inside leg is gonna hook up as high as you can. Clamp it on there tight. Take the hands off and crunch it. Now you can arm style any way you like if you want to extend this way or like this, totally up to you. After 15 seconds on one side, you'll switch and go to the other side. And that is this week's five. 